About ready to get our first match underway here at New Level Pro Wrestling presents Act Number Three: Ascend. I am Matthew Glover, being joined by Shane Knowles and Gene Jackson here on commentary for you tonight. Gene got a big card lined up. What match are you excited about? I'm excited about that ladder match. Obviously, it's always good to see P Dog in action, and he's in rare form tonight. Well, it seemed like P Dog was uh, going out of his way to. Uh, really try to get the crowd into the match. Perhaps as uh, carefree and good as I've seen b Dog. b Dog always looks phenomenal tip top And uh, made James quite the tongue lash in that. That's one thing I don't think you want to uh, challenge p Dog to a battle of the uh, oratory skills. And he's got quick fire leg drops there. Oh, and he rolled right back into it. B-Dog going to back him into the corner now. <laughs> who, does, who doesn't like chicken legs? Not that special talent. <laughs> he is special. That's why they brought him in. That's what he told us before. Go behind now. Oh, going to set him off. Oh, Tree of Woe. 
for P-Dog. We were talking about at the uh, Mid South show how impressive it is that that uh, headpiece never comes off in this room, P-Dog. Oh, nice slingshot drop kick there. It's been all P-Dog here in the early going. Do you think Ty here knew what he was getting into coming in here uh, tied up with P-Dog? He knows his reputation. What all he's done? Well, if he doesn't, I, I, I think he's certainly going to learn here tonight. And I would say that's to his own detriment that he hasn't uh, looked into his opponent's weaknesses and skills. I'd say if he didn't, he's getting quite the crash course right now in the early going. Uh, Posey very accomplished. Not only is he making quite a name for himself in the last couple of the last couple okay. years. Not to mention the uh, millions of albums sold. Now, I've known uh, Mr. Pete Dogg since <laughs> around 2002. I know his favorite thing is working out with exercise bands and drinking energy drinks. Yeah, actually, he was the first person I ever saw with him. Like when people were like, what is that? <laughs> and Jack Lord threw one out the window. Good times. How many guys in Alabama can say they've been in the ring at WrestleMania as part of that? He was a referee at WWE, referee at Ring of Honor. He's competed at Ring of Honor. Referee in TNA and was the X Division specialist during the glory days of X Division. Got to do, uh, I think he was the first X match, I can't remember what that's called. Here, just dropped a while back in the head, though, so as you said, that headpiece always impeccably tied, never moved. I've seen it come off one time, I believe, and it was bad news. I've been with Flint. Oh! That's the case. I'm sure Jeremy Glenn made sure that he came off right. purpose just there. That was probably his <laughs> one goal that night. Lots of red going on this match. Choking him, taking the. Being smart, as Gene uh, would probably instruct if he were managing him, taking the full forward there. You gotta take advantage of every little, uh, every little thing you can, and P Dog crashes into that turnbuckle. Very hard. I mean, why would you not like chicken? I mean, they aren't quite delicious, I must say. I mean, if people didn't like chicken legs, there'd be no hooters, buffalo, wild wings, wing stop. The list goes on. I mean, I'm sure that's why people got hooters, right? Tacky, you underfed. Nice elbow shots there from P-Dog. Ducks. Power him over. What a maneuver. That's right, pal. Referee now <laughs> instructing James. And James again going to go uh, take the shortcut. He knows the rules. He wrote it all the way out before. That's perfect. That's what I'm saying. I, I knew that would uh, bring a, a smile to an old veteran's face like Eugene. He's an old veteran. I was disrespecting my, my elders. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, good. Breaking out high here. <laughs> what a clothesline. He's almost a Valerian, if you will. He almost decaffeinated P Dog. Yeah. Headpiece is moving a little bit now. Right. He's grinding around cauliflower in those ears. I, I'm convinced that he took uh, training sessions with Mr. Hughes because, you know, he runs over in that area, and that's where Mr. Hughes is from. And there's no coincidence in my mind that the, the headpiece stays on like those sunglasses. I'm sure the Hulkster would love to learn how to keep that headpiece on. Yeah. <laughs> I, he, he, he accomplished something that almost no one can, and he wore it during the tour. So, <laughs> he dog meanwhile, able to oh, fight back. I think he's having issues. That that string has come unstowed. Laying uh, those those kicks, giving them back to him there. Seems like it's pretty uh, harsh. Wow, like a banshee squeal. I would think the longer this match goes, the more it speed off with condition. That and the uh, variation of Luca's press there. But yeah, and also with, with the. Uh, I've never seen this level. Oh my gosh. He's about to get fired up. Oh, wow, rattle his teeth. Might be a trip in the 
Fourth Adonis in the future of P-Dog. Cover. Two, and his foot's on the road. Again, knowing your position in the ring at all times. P-Dog's a veteran. That experience. He could have expended a lot more energy kicking out, but he knew he was put that foot on the road and saved some of that air. And it looks like he's going to need it. Struggling to get back to his feet. Irish whip now off the far ropes. Ducks and telegraphs it kicked by P-Dog. And he hits it. Oh! If B-Dog was able to get all of his weight over the shoulders there, that might have been it. If Ty Hero just took his thumb and stuck it about knuckle deep in B-Dog's eye right there. I didn't know where you were going with that, Gene. Oh! That's elevation, Holmes. Yes. <laughs> See, I... I'll automatically think of Phil. I didn't even think about he has small legs. Maybe that's a defense for myself. Oh, Ty here better watch the position he's in because we know what P Dog does when he's on that top. Oh! Make Bobby Eaton proud. Two, three, and that'll do it. I don't think many of this crowd knew who P Dog was coming into this match, but it seems like he won him over there. Definitely uh, excitement in the crowd to see P Dog pull that one out. 